What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 28th of May. It is Tuesday. We're taking a look at Aerodrome Finance this morning. This will be the Aerodrome slash the United States dollar. This will be a daily chart. Coinbase will be our price data over here on tradingview.com. It was a nice weekend here for the cryptocurrency markets. We just had three up days in a row for Aerodrome Finance. Guys, let's get into the charts. Welcome to the channel, all of the subscribers, both new and everybody who's been around a while. Appreciate you guys. Taking a look here at what happened over the weekend on the chart. Well, we found ourselves once again, who would have thought, who would have known we hit the 128 level just perfectly once again. Yesterday's high was 127.749, just below my 128 upper resistance. That is the second time we have hit that level, guys. That level came into play back here on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of May as our resistance level before rolling over down to... 87, I believe, was our, our low. We've been slowly stair-stepping here once again to the upside, creating a lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low. And then once again yesterday, creating another higher high. A beautiful thing to see for this chart. We hit our level perfectly, guys. Perfectly. If you've been following this channel, you know exactly where the levels are or where the price is most likely to be going. So now that we have resistance at 128, once again, what are we looking for next? We're actually getting a pretty large sell off here this morning in Bitcoin. So we'll have to see if that gains any strength to the downside and starts to take these markets lower. But if Bitcoin starts to recover, what we're looking for, we want to see a break above 128. And we want to get a price close above that as well. That is a, that's quite the area to see the price break above. You know, if and when it can do that, it could be a pretty strong green candle to the upside. Maybe we have a little bit of resistance at 136.76. That's this green line on the chart. But ultimately, up to 153, 156 would be my next area I'm looking for here. 156.80 to 153, just slightly below that. But we got to get a close and we got to break above 128 first. So we'll see this leg up here that we've just had is taking a slight pause as we have a resistance level at 128 and we're going to talk about some areas below the market that might be in play right now. So let's talk about that. Let's say Bitcoin starts to go sideways to down for just a couple days here. We have some levels of support that might be in play right now. These are some new levels um, for this video for today. These were not in last the last Aerodrome Finance video. So we have level number one down here at 106.42. 10642 that could be in play here so we could be getting a move to the downside unfortunately if this does play out it would be a new low in play so we would definitely be below the 23rd of may at 108 it would be putting in a new low uh, you know not the greatest thing to see but possible it was an area of support back in here on the, let's see, the days are 6th, 7th, 8th or so of May. So a back test from there, a, you know, support there, a test again there would not be that big of a deal. Um, You know, a lower low is not what you want to see for the bulls though. And then we have another level down there at 98,224. So that definitely puts us in new lows, 98,224 right here so we we could be in a move to the downside guys so we have the higher high potential support here would be a lower low or maybe we even drop down to the 98 224 those could be in play i just want to make that 
public here, guys, that these levels might be in play here. We'll have to see if it, uh, you know, gains any momentum lower. We're going to keep an eye on Bitcoin, of course. Also, something that is staring me in the face right here is if this does play out, right? So we take a, you know, maybe we find support here. This is starting to have a, uh, you know, this isn't perfect right here. A little inverse head and shoulders, which is a bullish pattern, which would definitely take you up there quite a bit, probably higher than 156. So that's what's going on today, guys. Here's a couple key takeaways is we want to keep it, keep an eye on the 128 level. That is our current resistance perfectly. The markets might be cooling off right now. We might be in a play down to 106 or even 98. There's no guarantees we're going to go down there. But if we start to trade lower, keep your eyes on those levels for price support. We start to move up today. We want to break above 128. We want to close above 128. And that should take us up to the 153 to 156 level. Guys, thanks for watching. If you are not yet a subscriber, join us here on the channel. Appreciate it. Keep your eye on Bitcoin. See what it's doing. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Another beautiful run here right up to a level of 128. We'll see how far this pause goes. We're going to watch 128. We're going to watch 106 and 98 throughout this Tuesday. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. All links are down below. Join us here on the channel. You guys have a great day.